Romans chapter 1, verse 18. It says that man exchanged a natural use with a man. Woman exchanged with the natural use of woman. They were given over to their lust. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a reverend. Yes. Formally ordained. Wow. Well, I'm glad that you came up to me because now I can lead you into the truth. Are you a reverend? Yes, I am. Oh, man. You are leading people astray, and you need to repent, and you need to come back to the truth. You know, brother. I'm not your brother. You need to repent for pressing hate into the world. Jesus Christ is king. We're going to bow the knee to Jesus Christ, friends. And I'm telling you today that unless you repent, you will perish. When Jesus comes, it's not a game, my friends. We're not going to vote Jesus Christ as president. It's a theocracy. We're all going to bow the knee to Jesus Christ. That's the truth, friends. But he died, was buried, and resurrected from the grave that you could have eternal life. When you turn to him, it says the infeminate, the sexually immoral, all homosexuals, all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. I'm telling you today, friends, that Jesus Christ can save you. He can save you, friend. Mockers and scoffers will be in the last days. They were also in the days of Noah. You're upsetting people or sitting and having lunch? I have, I, I, I have a right to be here. I have a right to be here. Not on a megaphone. You yes, know. I do. No, it's a heat filled speech. Do you hear the me megaphone over there? Listen, you don't have the right to be obnoxious like this. I, I'm not being obnoxious. You, you are being obnoxious. I'm not being obnoxious. That no. we're going to hell and that we should be saved by you? I think not. Saved by Jesus. Yeah, no, I don't you weren't even, that. you weren't listening to my message. Move on. Stop of not being obnoxious to us. Okay? Well, that's your opinion. Are you offended? Yes. For, why are you guys offended? For what? You're free to talk here, but do you have a permit to be amplifying your voice? I have my uh, my amend I have my first amendment right to no, amplify my voice. Not to use an amplifier. Not to use an amplifier. What makes you say that? Because it's the law and if you don't like it, you can go talk to a cop and find out what the truth is, okay? You can't amplify your voice. Why have the police not stopped me yet? You can yeah. you can spread okay, your I'm gonna message go get a cop. without the okay. amplifier. Uh -huh. If you'd like to. Do you do you believe in Jesus, friend? I do not believe in Jesus. Why not? That's kind of a dumb question. How how would that be a dumb question? I'm not interested in debating you about your beliefs. Right. You're welcome to hold them. You're welcome to share them. Mm -hmm. You're not welcome to use the amplifier in this public space without a permit. Right. Well, I'm telling you, I use the amplifier actually for my protection, for my safety. Who, what, what danger are you in here? Uh, actually, I've been harassed a lot by this community in the past. Jeez, I wonder why. I, I, I wonder why. Do you think, are you justifying the fact that it's okay to harass a, a preacher of the gospel? I'm not. I'm asking you, do you have a permit to be amplifying your voice and spreading your negative message here? I come with a different authority, friend. I don't come with, you, I don't come with the authority of, of what appeases you guys. I come with the authority that comes from heaven to tell you to command all men everywhere to repent and turn to Jesus. Do you understand? And I'm letting you know, friend, that if you don't turn to Jesus, you won't have eternal life. Are you going to listen? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to him, and you interrupted my conversation, right? Okay, then, so wait your turn. Well, you do not need to be disrespectful because you are very disrespectful. Waiting, wait your turn to talk because I was talking to him. Wait your turn to talk. Jesus Christ is king. Jesus Christ. Organizers are calling the cops. They can call the cops all they want. Christ died for my sins. I've been a Christian. I've been raised that way. Mm -hmm. He would not want you doing this. You're hurting people right now. Let me ask you this. Can, can, can homosexuals go to heaven? I believe they can, sir. Okay, so 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 does sir, say that homosexuals won't sir, inherit the kingdom, sir, right? Sir, irrelevant. You stand that's here. not irrelevant. That's the sir, word of God, man. You're standing here today. What did Jesus preach? He preached to love your to fellow To love. Man. You're hurting people right now. Okay. You're standing why here and you're hurting people. So, so what's the definition of love? What's the definition of love? Does love rejoice in the truth? I don't think the definition of love is to call attention to yourself with a negative message at this event that's promoting inclusivity. It's a positive message that Jesus Christ died for you, gave his life for you. And when you turn to him, you can have everlasting life, my friends. Jesus does, Jesus loved you enough to die for you. But I'm telling you right now that God, God will judge the wicked. God will judge the wicked. And if you're living in this section. what you are professing. No. What do you think you're being right now, judging them? You're being wicked. That's what I am. You gotta go. Judge 724, bro. It says that we should not judge by appearance, but with righteous go. judgment. You gotta, you gotta go. Security. You gotta leave. You gotta go. Why do I gotta go? Get Ann Arbor police. You gotta go. You can go grab the Ann Arbor police, man. I'm, it's not. That's not a big deal to me. 
And because Jesus Christ is king and I'm allowed to be here. No, I'm, I'm allowed to exercise my right, just like you guys are allowed to exercise your right and take over the whole city. So, so I'm allowed to talk about Jesus. How do you feel about somebody who is gay coming into your church with a microphone and saying, what you guys are doing here is wrong because you're not accepting and loving I'm not at your house. I'm not I'm not at your building. This is a public this event. Am I, am I welcome here? Am I welcome here? So they can use a microphone in your parking lot I, I, in front so of your church? So the thing church? is you have to have a Hold on. One, one person at a time. You guys are all harassing me at one time. Hold on. Does, I'm not, I'm not let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Does love accept all things? How are we harassing Does love accept all things? Answer my question. Are you legally are you allowed to use Absolutely. this microphone and amplify your voice Absolutely. in this public event? Do you have a permit to do that? I have every right to do that. No, Where is you your have permit? A permit? What are you talking I have a First Amendment right to speak. I no, amplify your voice. Let me ask you this. Bonnie, Bonnie. Is Am I speaking louder than what's going on over there? That's not That's relevant. Not the point. It's very relevant. You're breaking, the, law. Law. You're breaking the laws. Yes. We're trying to tell no, you no, 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 no. Yeah. You, you're breaking the laws of God. Okay, but you're going What's to be arrested. What's more important? We're trying to help well, I'm letting you know that you're going to be arrested in heaven. And if you don't repent, you're going to go to hell. Jesus it's a very serious thing. Jesus doesn't fly that way, honey. Oh, he doesn't? He does yeah. not fly that way. Jesus loved everybody. So what's Revelation chapter 21, verse 8? Jewish, by the way. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus was Jewish. Yeah. Jesus was Jewish. That's exact. That's and definitely true. Everybody. Okay, so let me ask you. Do, you. do you know what Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 says? Do you know what Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 says? It says that all liars, all the sexually immoral will have their part in the lake of fire. Do you realize you're Friends, I'm letting you know if you don't repent and turn to Jesus, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Love rejoices in the truth, according to 1 Corinthians. Honey, do you rejoice in the truth? I know the Bible. Or do you love a lie? That's your opinion, bro. That's your opinion. I'm done engaging. i will go back over there to your family because obviously we disagree. We disagree. I, I didn't ask you for a platform. I don't speak on your accord. I speak on Jesus' accord, who sent me here as a witness to testify against this wicked community today. That unless you repent, you will not inherit the kingdom of God, my friends. Well, you, asked, you asked for time to talk, and you haven't given me a chance to talk. I was talking to them. I had a lot of people talking to me at one time, right? Okay. Okay, so what, what do you say? What I'm letting you know is the First Amendment is only the government prohibiting you from speaking. Mm -hmm. The city can say that you have to have a permit, and you don't have one, so they will come and they'll arrest you. But if you see someone in a green shirt or a police officer, you can ask where you can do this, mm -hmm. where you don't need a permit. Okay. Well, that's, that's what I'm we're gonna telling. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna agree to disagree. It's important. It's not. It's a fact. We're gonna agree to disagree. The law. Do they need a permit? They need a permit. We're gonna and agree to disagree. But it's crazy to me, it's crazy to me how I come speaking the truth and all of a sudden you guys want me out of here. But if I came preaching a different message, you guys would all accept me, wouldn't you? You have one word to say to him, just weird. Yeah. Just say weird. Not, I don't have a place to put it. Okay. All right. We're going to keep it moving here today, friends. That Jesus Christ is the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Unless you repent today, I tell you today, you will all likewise perish. But Jesus loved you enough to die for you and give his life for you, my friend. He died for you, to give his life for you. None of these people would give their life for you, none of them. None of, the, none of them actually love you. If, you as soon as you don't agree with them, they don't love you anymore, and that's the truth. But you see, you're the one that's not showing love and respect. I'm showing love by telling you the truth. You guys will kiss each other with a lie, but faithful is the wound of a friend, the Bible says. I'd rather wound you a little bit with the truth and tell, tell you truly what Jesus came to say and came to do for you, friend. If you don't like it, keep it moving. He was speaking about marriage, that marriage is between one man and one woman. He was speaking about Pull up the scripture. I will. Okay. You don't want to do this. Matthew, oh, I do want to do this. Um, he was speaking about divorce. So what does the law say? Was see... Jesus under the law? No, he said he died to fulfill the law. He fulfilled the law, exactly. So that means we're all living under grace. And what does it say? He said, listen, he said, for God to love the world, that uh -huh. he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, not whosoever except... Uh -huh. He said, whosoever believes shall perish and have, it shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So where does the exception fit? Okay, so Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Can I, can I talk one person? Talk? Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26 says that he that remains in willful sin, there no longer remains an atonement for him, no longer a sacrifice. So if you keep on sinning, there's no longer a sacrifice for you, bro. Exactly. So instead of you stand here scaring these people, you can't tell me to do that, bro. Instead yes, of get, the scaring all these get the police. Get the police. Oh, that's perfectly fine. They can't stop me from speaking. Scaring them into believing. Mm -hmm. How about you do the two things he called us to do? <laughs> love thy neighbor as thyself uh -huh. and love him with all thy heart and thy mind. Now let me ask you this. Does love rejoice? in iniquity 
No, but he also there you go. Judge, lest you be judged. And, and then what does the rest of that say? You are here preaching about the word. Hold on, hold on. Now, if you're gonna quote a scripture, quote what's the rest of the scripture say? Judge not lest you be judged and do what? Unless you judge righteously. Exactly. Exactly. We're so, supposed to judge though, right? Are yeah. we supposed to judge? So there you go. Thank you. You're telling the truth now. Okay. What right did Jesus give you to, to what 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 right what qualifications did God give you to judge? Does it not say that we'll judge angels? What qualifications did God give you to sit here and judge? Does it say that we'll judge angels? Are you in heaven yet? Has he come back and put us in the position? I'm seated in heavenly places. Why do you need okay. A microphone? So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this then. Yep. Why did he say, and some of you were, but you were washed, you were redeemed, and you were set free? He didn't give a time when that happened. He didn't give how many people that happened to. He didn't give any of that. Awesome. But he said you were. Yep. So when you realize what positional sanctification and what progressive sanctification is, awesome. then you can probably spew your stuff. But I'm not going to stand here as someone who Okay, so now go to Romans chapter 1. You. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. What's it say? Go read it. It says, woman will exchange a natural use with woman. Man will exchange a natural use with man. And God gave them over to their exactly. desires. God exactly. gave them over to the sexual so immorality. In same, in Are same, you in a reprobate same, mind right now? Is yeah, that in okay? That same book, he also said, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Absolutely. And that is so you would do a lot better. Uh -huh. Instead of trying to scare these people mm -hmm. into following Christ and inside of in, instead of trying to get engagement in media, mm -hmm. show them love because that was the only thing he required us mm -hmm. to do as Christians. Mm -hmm. So did Jesus love preach people. repentance? Absolutely. Did, and he, did he, Paul preach repentance? Did Jesus also preach I came to save and not condemn? Absolutely. So what are you doing? I just preached that you could be saved if so you believe in you Jesus. Doing? Exactly. You're walking away because you know what I'm saying is true. No. You know what I'm saying is true. You don't want to do this. I've been doing this. Love I've been thy doing this. Love as thyself. Love the Lord thy God. What's the definition of love? Did God set parameters and a boundaries? Of people that want to be here just for fun and happiness. This is not the right place for you. Okay, so let me ask you this. Are you going to be celebrating in hell? I don't believe in hell, so I guess. Well, that's what you believe, but I'm letting you know that's not going to be a celebration there. Therefore, I'm warning you so you can go to heaven, friend. Some of you are young. Some of you need to know Jesus. Friend, I really hope you don't leading leading your kid astray. You know why? It says, if you lead one of these little ones away from me, it's better off if you hung a millstone around your neck and drowned in the sea. That's what Jesus said. It's a very serious thing, friend. We need to repent and turn to Jesus. You can close your ears, but guess what? On the day of judgment, you won't be able to close your ears no more because every secret deed you've ever done will be brought to the light. Every secret thing you've ever said will be shouted from the rooftops. You will be exposed and your evil deeds will be made manifest. Jesus was the light of the world. He came in that your evil deeds would be made manifest and you could turn to the light. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah. When you believe in him, he came to save you, my friends. But John 8, 11 does say, go and sin no more. Jesus wants to save you and redeem you and restore you. You should care, my friend. He loves you so much that he gave his only life for he gave his life for you. God gave his only son to take your place. Oh, is that is that love what you're doing, man? Is that love calling me names? Is that love calling me names? Calling everybody a name. You're an idiot. I haven't called anyone a single name. He's calling me a disgrace to the human race. Wow. Wow. Well, let me tell you something. This sin, this sin is a disgrace to the human race. And that's the reality. That when you can repent and you can turn to Jesus, you can be saved, friends. I don't receive that at all. You need to repent and turn to Jesus. But I love you enough to kiss you with the truth. The truth. The truth is what we need, friends. The truth can set you free from that lifestyle, friend. The truth can save you. The truth took on a person. His name is Jesus. Where's the love? I'm not feeling the love. Man, I'm not feeling the love from you guys either. I've been called many names since I've showed up here and told to leave. That's not very accepting of this community. I love you. I love you. Jesus wants to save you. I love you. Jesus wants to save you. I love you. Jesus wants to save you. Why are you here now? Because I can be. Yeah, but dude, just to be an asshole, people don't want you here. Why, why do you come up to call me names and you could keep walking? We're already here. Who's the one being aggressive? Who's the one being mean?
We know you're not satisfied, motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. No one wants you here. Oh, I appreciate your love, man. Oh, I don't love you because you're spewing hate. Okay. Are you spewing hate right now? Uh, I absolutely am because I. There you go. You're I a receive. hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I give what I receive. And you're I a hypocrite. Treat others but Jesus wants I'm to treated. save you, bro. Jesus still wants to save you. He still loves you, and He died for you. I don't wow. give a fuck what Jesus says about anything. Well, you will on the day of judgment because you're going to be standing vulnerable, completely exposed before him, man. No, what are you going to do on that day? I believe in fictional characters, and I believe in reality. There's more history for Jesus than any historical character there is. <laughs> Right. Maybe open at a his book time, that's not a fucking At his Bible. time, he's the most historical open figure a book of his that's time. Not a fucking Bible. How about you go research it, man, other than supporting your lifestyle? Are you hearing me today? Are you, do you believe in Jesus, friend? Do you believe that it's okay? I believe he's the creator. You believe he's the creator? That Jesus is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end? I believe he's the creator. Do you need prayer for anything today, bro? No, sir. Okay, do you believe that you can support this lifestyle and still go to heaven? It's, it's each his own. It's each his own. No, I'm, man. I'm not here to judge nobody. No, man. Well, the Bible says to judge, if you didn't know that. I, I'm, here, I'm here to listen to you, but not to judge. Okay, all right. We're standing in front of you right now. Hi. You're a reverend. Yes. Formally ordained. Wow. Well, I'm glad that you came up to me, because now I can lead you into the truth. Because you're leading a lot of people astray, and you're of the, of the Antichrist spirit. I mean, the microphone... I don't know what you think the microphone is doing, but all you're doing is intimidating people. And if you say, I love you while you're yelling at them, you're not going to get very far. Is this is this yelling? Now you With the microphone? No, it's just amplifying my voice so you guys can hear the truth and be saved. Because you're not saved. You are not saved. And you're leading people astray. Which means that you'll actually be striped more when Jesus comes. Jesus says, you knew the truth. You knew the truth, yet you went astray anyway. You're leading many astray. It's better off if you hung a millstone on your neck and drowned in the sea, is what Jesus said. You're leading people astray, and you need to repent. And I'm telling you today on the authority of Jesus Christ, as a witness from heaven. Whose authority by Jesus Christ? By the biblical authority that I carry from the Bible. From the Bible. You are called by Christ. Is homosexuality condemned in the Bible? By whom? By Jesus, by Paul. No. Multiple times. Nothing at all about homosexuality. Paul says nothing at all about this kind of homosexuality. Paul says that the, the adverse use of power against somebody else is the only way that you can use somebody who is God's creation because we are all built in the image of God. Brother, I don't know what you want about grace, but you don't have any of it. Okay, now let me ask you this. Romans yeah. chapter 1 verse 18 does say that man exchanged a natural use with a man and woman exchanged a natural use with a woman. So literally, Paul says that they gave them over to sex, that God gave them over to their uncleanness and their lust in Romans chapter 1 verse 18. Well, first, absolutely. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 says the homosexuals, adulterers, all fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So in the 1946 NIV version, that's what you're pulling from for homosexuals because it doesn't appear in any English translation before then. You want to go to Toe, 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 unscripted. Go to Romans chapter 1 verse 18 right now. You want me Go to, to Romans chapter 1 verse 18. Vampire erotica book because I can do that. What are you trying to say? You're trying to curse me? Is that what you're saying? What are you trying to say? Like what, what are you saying right I'm now? I'm saying I can't look up 1 Corinthians in a book that's about love and vampires. I don't know what you're talking about and you definitely shouldn't be a, a reverend. You need to repent. No, you need to repent. No, the Bible says that. The, but you are literally really? outright no leading people to hell. You are leading people to hell. You are leading people to hell, and you need to repent. I am allowing this to, to escalate, and I'm sorry about okay. that. You need to get rid of the microphone, yeah, all. because all that you're doing is making people angry. You're not leading anybody to Christ. Not, I, you're making yourself angry. I'm not making you angry. The reason you guys are angry is because you're not walking in the truth. And the reality is, is it exposes and makes manifest your evil deeds. Sorry, what's your name? Caleb. Caleb. Hi, Caleb. I'm Geneva. You won't touch me either. Because you're not preaching the truth. Does second and third John not say I should not bid you Godspeed or shake hands with you? Because it, I can shake hands with them, but you're a false teacher. I can't shake hands with you, according to the Bible, New Testament. The Apostle John said that. That's not me being mean. That's me to be, I can't agree with you. Because you're leading people astray. And I care about you. No, I don't, I don't agree with you. If you care about her, you would shake her hand. No, it's not true. It's no, if no, 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 you can shake her hand, you can shake her hand, and you can hurt her. Can you not? 
I don't know. Just because you shake someone's hand doesn't mean you love her. I, I'm not shaking your hand because I love you, and I'm telling you the truth. I can't shake your hand. I'll shake your hand. It depends on your Because I love you. Because I love you. But you, I love you enough to not shake your hand because the Bible says it. Truth is love. What if you love, lo listen, truth what doesn't you, follow love. What if you love follows truth. can change her. What do you can touch her and change her? What is that? So you gotta change She's not open to change. You don't know that. Why would I touch somebody that's not open to be changed? No. Any power of Christ, I don't need to touch you. I don't need to touch you to be saved. Jesus needs to touch your heart to repent. I can't touch you and do nothing. Jesus does that. I can't do nothing. Are you so insecure about your faith that you need a microphone? You just can't talk to somebody like a normal human? Actually, I'm so secure in my faith that I can come out here and tell you guys this today. That if you're willing to repent, you can turn to Jesus. Because you need oh, really? something you to help you. Uh -huh. That's a sign of cowardice. So, okay. all I'm asking. That's your opinion. All I'm asking is yep. that you take it down the microphone. Stay here. Yeah. Preach talk whatever truth people. you want. And like, talk to people. Like a friend. But talk the microphone like is only making people yeah. mad and scared. Yeah. Talk and Jesus like was. Friend. Many more people are hearing me. Because you're not willing to hear, so when you come up to me, it provokes me to You're speak about the truth. Many other people can hear it now. Concert, sweetheart. Awesome. Can hear you. Oh, many people can hear me. She's listening. All these people are listening. Whether or not you agree with me or not, you still hear the truth, right? And it gives somebody the cap the possibility, the capacity to be saved. Why are you still here talking to me? Why are you here? You should. If you don't like it, just move on. Go over there. Why did you move on? I'm telling you nicely. You can people, go over there. People don't want you here. Obviously, you want. You must want to talk about Jesus. People don't want you here. I was raised in a. I was raised in a Catholic family. Were you? Yeah. Okay. So and I was abused. Okay. I was beaten. I'm sorry. I had a lot of bad things. But I was taught when I was older that Jesus is love. That Jesus loves everybody, and don't judge don't lest worry, can't even hear don't judge don't lest worry. he be judged. Lost cause for this one. Don't judge lest he be judged. I'm not going to judge. So you. the reverend preaching from a false church has said that I'm a lost cause. That's really sad. I, I think That's really sad. And I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I really am. I'm actually really sorry that happened to you. But they are misrepresentatives of Jesus. I'm a real representative of Jesus, telling you today the real truth. But Jesus taught to be kind and to love. Absolutely. Do you, do you know, in the Catholic Church, we were taught um, Mary Magdalene was a sinner. Wait, is this he loved her. He loved her. That's that's what I said. It just talk to people. Okay. No, you're afraid of coming in agreement with the truth. Because you know if you do, you'll be rejected by them. If you were to agree with me, I've been rejected. Are you a reverend? Yes, I am. Oh, man. You are leading people astray, and you need to repent, and you need to come back to the truth. You know, brother. I'm not your brother. You need to repent for pressing hate into the world. Right. Yeah? You, you because can't, you can't tell how they're dressed right now. Come on. Are you? Are you're you? A, to the outward thing means nothing, but inside she's dead bones. Are you right an ordained minister? Yup, heaven has ordained me. Heaven has ordained you. Who ordained Elijah? No one. There you go. The Thank God you. of love. Exactly. So who ordained me? No one. Not the God of love. That's for oh. sure. Yeah, exactly. You so does. Let me ask you something. Does the Bible? Ego. Can I talk without no. you screaming in my ear? No. Wait, you're screaming. I'm gonna keep you're screaming, screaming in your ear. ear. You can't. I love you, friend. I said, why I bless you. you. I bless I said, you. Why wow. Did you lose the microphone. Right, hold on. Let me ask you. One one. So, do you believe that the Bible endorses homosexuality? I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay here. The Bible does not specifically not state anything about homosexuality. The Bible states a lot of scriptures about homosexuality. Would you like to hear them? Oh, I know them all, sir. So they tell me them. You claim to be true. Tell me them. Explain to me yeah. how Judges 20 condemns anyone who loves another of the same gender. So you're telling me that the Apostle Paul would have uh, wrote down something that was contradictory to the Old Testament, him being a Hebrew of the Hebrews of the tribe of Benjamin, trained up under a high Jewish man. You're telling me he lied? Paul said nothing about it. Now you tell me, what did Christ say about homosexuality? Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. He says, let a man come together with his wife and let them become one flesh. He was speaking about marriage. Marriage is between one man and one woman. What was the culture of the time? Uh, I think marriage is in every culture. No, what was the culture of the time? First off, in Romans it talks about our moral code. You believe in the moral code? Oh, for heaven's sakes. You are so lost. So lost. Get him, <laughs>
because what is the basic principle of the gospel? To repent and turn to Jesus no. and know him. The basic foundation of the gospel is love. To be saved from sin and death. Right? Through loving your neighbor as yourself. You are doing the absolute opposite of loving your neighbor. You are leading so many people astray into hell. And I'm letting you know that you're going to be judged worsely by God than anyone else here you know because I'm you knew the truth right. and you didn't repent. Now listen, now can you listen? Because I listen to you. I listen to you. Romans chapter 1 verse 18. Romans chapter 1 verse 18 does say that man exchanged a natural use with man and woman exchanged a natural use with woman and God gave them over to their uncleanness and their lust. So the apostle Paul did talk about homosexuality. What's up? Um, ever heard of uh, pedestry? I know. Are you familiar with um, what the Apostle Paul had to say about homosexuality? Yes, I'm very familiar. Do you speak Hebrew? I know a little bit of Hebrew. Yeah? yeah. Uh, do you oh, speak bye. Greek? I know a little bit of Greek. I don't speak the full language, though. Okay. Uh, have you read the Septuagint? Have you read the Septuagint? Yes I, yes, I read the Septuagint. You read the Septuagint. Okay. You're familiar with the words used to refer to man and the words used to refer to boy. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, we can go, we can go to them scriptures right now if you have your phone. Pull them up. No way in hell. So you're not going to pull them up. So you're going to go on talking to me about scriptures, but you're not going to pull up the scriptures so I can show you the truth. You're not open. You're just coming to say something. I can quote you scriptures off the top of my head. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. It says that man exchanged a natural use with a man. Woman exchanged with a natural use of woman. They are given over to their lust. Whoa, 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 whoa. that demon manifested, didn't it? That demon manifested, didn't it? Look at that. That's the truth of this community. I was just harassed. I was just harassed. You touch, you have to leave. I bind that demon in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind it in Jesus' name. You have no power over me. The word homosexual. Have you gotten every, one person to switch to your side throughout your word? Yes. Many. 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 Yes, I have names, but I'm not going to tell you their name because that's weird. I wouldn't tell someone your name. No, that's just weird. I won't give you any names of anybody because this community is very weird. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. There's a lot of great, there's a lot of sexual morality happening around here. You guys have no limits, no boundary lines. I just want to point out the fact that you might be louder than everybody here with your microphone. Mm -hmm. Louder doesn't make you right. And when you look at the churches versus the gay community as in general a whole, you guys have more problems with pedos than the gay community combined. Right. Just so you That's not true. That's a that's a complete lie that you just that you maybe read on Facebook or that you just believe with your mind, but it's not true. No. It's not true. Uh, Facebook is not a fact. No, there's a literal statistic that most of the people in this community have actually experienced some type of sexual abuse. You can look it up on Google, it's simple Google search. A lot of you have been hurt or harmed. I'm telling you, Jesus can save you and he can redeem you and restore your innocence. He can restore your innocence.